Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for being here as always. And today we're going to do a quick spoiler free review of Star Wars, The Legends of Luke Skywalker, written by Ken Wheel. I've got some really complicated feelings with this book, but we'll get into that in a second. A quick overview of objective facts about this book. It is aimed at people of a younger audience. Um, Typically 5 to 12, I believe, is what Del Rey was planning on uh, uh, really selling this book to. It's a relatively long book for that age group, to be honest. It's like 415-ish pages long. Um, I mean, the font is very large. The spacing is very generous. Uh, and the words per page is very low. Uh, something akin to like a Goosebumps book or something like that from the 90s. Um, and it's a fun little story. It's about a um, group of kids basically swapping stories about Luke Skywalker, the great rebellion hero and the last of the Jedi or the first of the new Jedi or the whatever he is. Uh, as far as I can tell, it takes place maybe 10-ish years, 15 years post Return of the Jedi. And like I said, it is a canon story with them telling fantasiful tales uh, throughout it. That's what these red marks are. Any of the pages that uh, have that weird red border on it right there is basically interludes where we're actually getting the quote real story, the canon story. Uh, and anything with uh, just plain white pages is uh, a story that somebody is telling. Uh, to the rest of the character cast. And I love most of these stories. Most of them. I This book was on track with being right up there with Thrawn or Lost Stars or Bloodline. It was right up there with the best of the canon story books, right? And then a certain story came up. The Tale of... Lugrubus, Lugrubius Moat. <sighs> the reason why this review is late is because I actually rage quit this book. No disrespect to the author or the editor, but uh, this particular that particular story, uh, the tale of Moat. It touches sacred ground for me, that being Luke during Return of the Jedi, uh, during his time on Tatooine, his fight with the Rancor and his uh, the 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 battle of Carcoon of the Pit of Carcoon. That's sacred ground for me. I as a fan, that should never be touched. And I'm always willing to be open minded about those kinds of things. But whew, whew. I said spoiler free, but I'm going to be totally blunt about you about this with you. Uh, we're talking about a sentient flea that normally lives on uh, salacious crumb, uh, the monkey wizard from Jabba's palace, and then jumps to Luke Skywalker just before he falls into the Rancor pit and then gives him advice throughout his fight with the Rancor and his uh, uh, the Battle of Carcoon, the, the things that he does during the Battle of Carcoon, you know, the, the sand barge scene. No. <laughs> As a fanboy, I can't. It No. I, I actually I, I, I didn't even get through the Battle of Carcoon bit of that story. Uh, by the time I realized that they were actually going there, I, I had to put it down. I set it down and I didn't look at it again for two days. <laughs> Sorry, that's the big, huge gripe that I have with this book. Now, there are positives to this book, a lot of them. I love the rest of the stories in this entire book. Uh, collection. You guys know that I love these uh, stories within stories. And even the first story that we get in this book is actually somebody is telling a story about a time when somebody was telling a story to them in a cantina. It was 
It's super meta and super weird and kind of goofy, but it's fun and I'm okay with just fun stories. Uh, and you guys know that I'm not too much of a canon purist. I don't care really if something actually happened or if it might not have happened. I mean, I do keep track of that in my head, but it isn't uh, of utmost importance to me. So if it's not of utmost importance to you, this is a really fun book as long as you skip that one story that I mentioned that I railed upon about for a few minutes. So all in all, this is a book of it depends. My recommendation on whether or not you should pick it up, uh, it's only 10 bucks uh, on Amazon right now, at least for me. Um, the suggested price is uh, $15 US or $16.50 Canadian. That's not that much for a good, probably I'd say about four hours worth of reading. And uh, the audiobook is like six and a half or seven hours long. And I think that that's worth it personally might not be worth it for your audible credit but definitely worth it uh just to pick it up on its own this book is definitely meant for you if you're a big fan of luke skywalker but you have to be a certain fan of luke skywalker what i mean by that is that you need to be okay with the character of luke being kind of played with and toyed with and embracing the uh, kind of wide-eyed child that Luke is, uh, even in some of the, the films, he's like that. You know, we see him growing past that in Return of the Jedi, but there's still that, that underlying nature of his character. And you need to be kind of okay with that. So if, like, Heir to the Jedi wasn't your bag of tricks, if it played with the character a little bit too much for you, then maybe skip this. But if you're okay with the character being played with a little bit, definitely pick this up. It is a very entertaining read. However, I would highly recommend skipping that story about Moat. Sorry, I'm going to tell it like it is. Usually I try and be super positive about any Star Wars content, but <laughs> I will tell it like it is when it's just bad, at least in my opinion. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. I actually just got home from an 11 and a half hour shift at work. It is 4.53 in the morning for me on Saturday. So I'm going to go to bed and probably not get up until two or three in the afternoon. Thank you guys, as always, for your time. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. It lets me know that I'm doing something kind of right. And hit that subscribe button if you're new here and you enjoyed this content for more reviews and deep dives into this galaxy far, far away that we all love. Also, I have the links to both the Twitch uh, channel page and my Twitter uh, linked in the description down below. Thank you guys as always, and may the force be with you. Take care.